two. Welcome, welcome, everybody. We are off the rails today, and actually, we've got a special episode. Go ahead, clap. You can clap. Yeah, don't be shy. Don't be humble. Thank you, Shredder. Today is something special we've been planning for a while. Mr. Verified. What is Mr. Verified, you ask? It's our own version of uh, Miss Universe featuring all the guys. The categories are we're going to ask questions. We're going to test them on their style. And we're going to check on their hidden talents. We're going to have a live vote. You can The link's going to be in the description. We're going to unveil it, the winner on Friday. And the win... Why is it called Mr. Verified? Well, the guy... The guy let's talk a little bit. The guy's been arguing backstage quite a bit about trying to get verified. Being verified is, is very important to some of them. Um, and... Right? Am I right? Uh, mostly Zach. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mostly to Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I, I, I've, I've experienced a, a great deal of people actually stealing shit off my Instagram page. Like what? Just some videos of me playing guitar, pretending to be me, and stuff Other. like that. And it's just kind of like, fuck, I need that blue checky, my dude. We need that blue check. Needs yeah. that blue checky. Yeah. But let's be honest, any of these guys would be happy to have a blue checky, right? Oh, but of course. I yeah. actually don't. I, I hate the check mark thing. I, I don't. That it exists I, on social I, media. I don't want a blue check. Yeah, Dan says that, but. I mean, I've been saying it consistently for Dan, like the last month that we've been Dan's talking about play, doing this episode. Dan's play is the reverse psychology play where he acts like he doesn't care and he does a whole anti... This isn't just for the show, though. I was I didn't even want to do this episode. Dan the hater! Yeah. You're, they're, you're, play, they're, you're playing right into the trap. You forced me to do this. <laughs> I can't... Quite what am I? I'm not God. I can't force you. You're my boss! Things. What am I going to do? Completely refuse? Come on, this I said is I didn't want... I said yeah, do A, B. A I said do A, B, Ian, and Zach. And I can this this is, run it from behind. Not at all. This is a lot of fun. Are you? I mean, come on. This month. Well, Ed, regardless... I, I wouldn't buy it, but the reason I do is Dan is like legit free of want. Anything like even free shit we get. You see that how that guy shovels down chips? <laughs> well, <laughs> telling me he's free of want. That's the exception. That was a whole thing in the sketch last week. Was uh, that was what got me to break my Zen meditation? Was the something. well, regardless, um, very excited to present uh, Mister Verified coming up in a little bit later here, and um, so the winner of Mister Verified. I will be using my considerable resources, which basically consists of writing just an email to some uh, social media reps that I'm in contact with for Twitter. So just to clarify, it's not a guarantee, right? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I can't guarantee anything. The I, promise is you will write a single email. Exactly, I'll take it. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> so I will write an email to the Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Twitter social reps that I have. And I'll say, hello, dear XXX, this person is a hu is massive, deserving, legendary. Please uh, check them up. I guess That's all I, did I can something do. something to piss off the Instagram gods. I mean, I mean, I, I can't, of course I can't guarantee it. I don't work for Instagram. We just want protection from the Instagram gods. Yeah, I'm going to protect your algorithms from being just crushed. Just watching That's my algorithms get yeah. crushed. <laughs> but mostly it's the title, I mean, let's be honest. It's the blue check email. Yeah, yeah I'll the, be honest. Yeah, I want it. And the only reason I really want it is just to flex on people back home. That's it. Mm, that's more. good. Back home, huh? Back home. Here, Not I many care. people check it out back there. Yeah, foot soldiers. Love you guys. But whatever. They know me. But back home, if they, they got to see the blue check. Yeah, now, as you're saying in LA, more people are checked out. Everybody's checked out. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with that. There's back some home in Detroit. Not so many checks. Not so many checks. There's some people in high school that, that piss off a lot if I had one, so. That'd be, oh, that'd be cool. that's that's good. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But more importantly, Zach doesn't want those fake accounts, you know. I'm it, sure there's ton, hordes of them. It's, I can it's, show yeah, you. It's getting out of hand. That's <laughs> the big thing. I'm sure there's hordes of uh It's guys. happened. Yeah, and, and I feel bad because people are like, is it the Zach Lewis with four followers can't, or the one with 50,000? Right. <laughs> you can't really, tell anything can't nowadays, tell. you know? Yeah. And I mean, it's you playing guitar, so how much, how damaging can it really be to steal your content? I mean, it, it, it feels... Uh, it's not like they can plaster their own face on it. And I mean, you can do anything now with Photoshop. Sure. Fair enough. Um, Ian, how are you? You feeling motivated? You feeling interested? Or do you want the title? I mean, you know, it's a... Sure, it's a good bonus. 
there's a guy with my name who's a real estate developer and <laughs> he's not verified. So I want to flex on that. I'm sending him a message instantly. <laughs> That's important. Yeah, that is an important. So Dan is the only one who is rising above, but I appreciate your honesty, Ian. How many times have you tried to get verified, Zach? Good question. Uh, one, two, three, four, f- five or six. And 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 what do they tell you uh, when they reject you? Well, uh, their their qualifications are you need like a um, you need print like a printed article about you. Ooh. Um, that's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Um, but now there's a feature where you can add links to, um, try and get verified. So, um, it just doesn't work. They're like, uh, sorry. Fine. You're not important so maybe enough. we should hold, maybe what I can do then is the winner. I'll, I'll pay someone to write an article about them <laughs> and we just put it in some dumb spam site. But it's interesting because there's some people that are verified on Instagram or Twitter. Well, um, hold on. This is perfect. I'll pay a writer. To make the an article about the winner of Mr. Verified. And then we can post it on some weird sitemap spam black hat SEO crap or whatever. I, I don't know the specifics, but that, that's one of the uh, qualifications. All righty. There you go. The, the ante has been upped even further. The winner gets an article. Exciting stuff here, guys. Really fun. Well, today's episode is sponsored by Kraken, Upstart, ExpressVPN, and HBO Max. We love our sponsors, guys, don't we? Mwah! That makes it all possible. You know who I love even more than my sponsors? I hate to say it, but I got to. My wife. I know it's hard to believe. I know it's hard to believe, but I do love her more than our sponsors. Much more, in fact. Speaking of my wife, Teddy Fresh, Thursday... 10 a.m. New collection is just, I gotta say, this is one of the finest she's ever put out. Look at this tie-dye shirt. Hand brushed, water brushed tie-dye. I have never seen a shirt like this in all my life. Look at, I. look at the details. You know, cropped, women's patchwork. That's hot. Another colorway. Oh, that's hot. Don't touch me, cat. Uh, I forget the name. That's an old one. Don't worry about that. Yeah, so if you guys are interested, uh, when this comes out in the morning, Teddy Fresh, you know what it is. Check out our new collection. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. Oh, one other uh, update here. So obviously you guys heard the tragic news that Families has come to its natural conclusion. And uh, we love uh, my parents and we wish them well. But we must move on. We must press on. H3 TV is now going to be happening live on YouTube to consolidate the forces. I still want to collaborate with people on Twitch, bring them over while we're all live. I think that that'll be awesome. But right now we are planning next week to start doing Monday and Tuesday H3 TV live. We're really excited because we've been working on the format. And it's going to be like a interactive uh, submissions, taking questions, reacting to stuff. We've got a really great system for screening calls and suggestions now since our Gecko episode. And um, we're going to implement that system. And I think uh, I'm really excited, actually. I think it's going to be a really fun time. So Monday, Tuesday. And in the meantime, we're working on finalizing the details for the new host. Exciting news. To come in and join me on another kind of, you know, format with another person. So that's exciting. We're all excited. Looking forward. Always looking forward. So join us on Monday and Tuesday for H3 TV. Listen, James Charles, guys, you know, I hate to keep, I keep, I hit, mm, I hate to beat a dead horse, but this is funny, man. Yeah, really sad. James Charles liked this tweet. Why is every person over the age of 18 convinced that the only way to have fun is to drink or get high? What do you know about anything of of people over the age of 18? Here was a good response. (laughs) That is so true. Love how James Charles liked this when it said over the age of 18 like he would actually know what people do uh, over 18 do. Oh my god, this it, is the tea. It, it's a little bit of a sussy tweet to like. 
You see the power of that blue checky? This guy's right. getting away with. He's getting away with a lot. You can't keep getting away with this. Yeah, why are all people over the age of, teen, age of 18 convinced that the only way to have fun is to drink or get high? I just want to have good, clean fun with James Charles. And that's why he's interested in people under 18. Because they know how to have fun. I wonder if he'd go to the mall with him. Like Going a, to the mall yeah. is a good way to have fun if you're under 18. Running to AB there, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I mean... J uh, James is interested in people under 18 who have interests like going to the playground. Sister snatched. Well, I'm just curious what people under 18 do to have fun. Um, he plays Fortnite. I know that. Minecraft. So, shout out to James. <laughs> oh, no! One other top of the show one. Rudy Giuliani. The ghoul himself. This guy, if he needs any more supporting evidence that he's the f one of the foulest human beings on earth. I mean, how many times has Rudy embarrassed himself outside the the, uh, the porn shop? The porn shop. You know, he Anal did an interview where he was literally dripping from his forehead like Zorg. Bleeding. From the fifth element. <laughs> Bleeding, squidding from his I fucking board. And now here he is, the former mayor. Of New York City, America's mayor, the president's Look personal lawyer, is caught in an airport cafe shaving. What? You, should I play dance. Rappaport's commentary? Yeah, here he is shaving in a fucking airport cafe. You absolute demon. You freak. Disgusting. The man is using what? What is this? He's using like t t using water from the table to lube it up. <laughs> Something. It looks like at the very end of the video, he reaches over to grab a chunk of food or something. Have it's you no covered in all shame? Stubble. Have you no shame at all, sir? And it's a sexual dance. Like this is something I would expect to see in Walmart. <laughs> but let alone Rudy Giuliani, the former uh, mayor of New York. The president, the former president's personal attorney, to do this in public, too. I mean, have you no shame, sir? Disgusting. Going for a slice of bread right afterwards. Right. I was right. He is going to eat. That shit Disgusting. is covered in your fucking stubble, dude. Like, it's going all over the place. It's definitely on whatever it is that he Bro, chose to put I, in his I, mouth. I just, this guy is a walking L machine. I mean, this guy, <sighs> I, I'm blown away. Here, here's Michael Rappaport's commentary, which was, which was apt. So I'll play that for you with his original commentary. Take it away, Michael. It says it better than I could. Look at this shit. Live from JFK Sunday in JFK. Look at Rudy Giuliani, former mayor of New York. You nasty, filthy, sloppy, disgusting, <laughs> filthy fucking animal. I'm showing it again. Show it again. Shaving, your sa shaving yourself in public. You fucking pig. You should be ashamed of yourself. Lock him up, you fucking dog, you. <laughs> yeah. Michael certainly has a way with words, and I think he it's nailed it right on the head. I mean, I think we should lock him up. It's unbelievable. Disgusting. This guy says that the election was stolen, and the man can't even f fucking... Am I supposed to take the word of a man who shaves in an airport cafe? On anything. I mean, again, like, it, this is disgusting, but when we've already witnessed him just just oozing fucking black sludge <laughs> yeah. from his skull, it's like, where do you even go from there? I mean, the guy is just a fucking grotesque human being. Dude, I swear to God, and I, I'm sure many of you remember this movie. It's one of my favorites. Zorg. <laughs> You're talking about Fifth Element? Yeah. yeah. No, that is, fucking that's sweating black ooze. <laughs> And then here, there's even a Rudy Giuliani meme without me even asking. <laughs> well, yeah, it's definitely, it's a spot on comparison. Here, That's literally what happened. God damn. Anal sex. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so shout out. Uh, one other thing I wanted to get to, you know, snitch star, keem star, whatever you want to call him. Karen star, some have called him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to criticize him. 
I'm only here to report the news because I would never harass or criticize this man, you know? And, and, yes, I, and yes, he is writing emails constantly to YouTube. And so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say anything negative about him because he's going to report it to YouTube. So I'm just, I'm simply going to report on the news. And this is certainly newsworthy. This is something that a lot of people are talking about. What the fuck is this? This is Snitch Star outside Triller headquarters. Because they won't want to fucking explain this shit to me. Yeah, he's trolling you. But this is a photo of someone else. They're like, oh, Kim's in the back randomly. And then, oh, he, he restored. He restored it, yeah. <sighs> so frustrating! You think he's over narking on, on me to Kavanaugh? <laughs> Probably. I mean, he, he, he's the guy that's got the dossier on everything, apparently. Well, was he, um... What do you think, AB? You, you get in the mind of Kim. I I felt like he was from the beginning. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> well, it, what's funny is you constantly see Kavanaugh... Like, he pinned a story about, like, me when I got in trouble for saying something. And um, they mentioned stuff like that, too, in their latest complaint that, like, seemed completely out of nowhere. And someone has to be informing of this stuff. And here you have him at Triller HQ. It's the same person that sends it. Yeah, he does this He goes out of time. his way to do it. Yeah, who was it recently? Uh, it was uh, what, that you were feuding was, with. What's her name? Nikita. Yeah. Oh, Nik and, and David Dobrik, too, right? Right. Like, basically, anybody that you get into shit with, he's immediately in their DMs trying to give him, you know, giving him the folder from his desktop. Bro, some some people accuse me of being obsessed with Keemstar. Bro, this no, man's on There's no level. comparison. I hate Keemstar. No, well, he said it, not me. For the record, I didn't say that. Box me, bitch. Didn't say that either. Yeah. Big L on my Yeah, part. I remember Nikita, like, I was beefing with her because I, I was, like, just... You were, I was just fighting with Trisha. You were defending Trisha. Yeah, well, I mean, I was, I was yeah. going, going to bat for her. Mm -hmm. And she started tweeting out all the classics. And then we were all like, oh, it's definitely Keemstar. And, you know, he admitted to it, I think. Keemstar, shut up. Didn't say that. It wasn't me. So that's interesting. It's like Snitch Star is really an apt name when you think about it. Damn, and and to think that him restoring this is interesting and not outing himself for being a snitch. Well, he thinks snitching is okay as long as it's public. So maybe this is his way of justifying it. Just like he said, "Oh, I told on, yeah, I, I told on Ethan. I tagged Susan, but it was public." I don't think he actually thinks that because he, I think he's just doing somersaults to justify. Right. Um. <laughs> anyway, there's some. There's actually just, this is kind of just our editorial take on this. Um, nobody likes a tattletale. That's Keem Star's face on a child. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm bald. Yes, I would like to talk to the manager. That is a reference to Karen Star. Some call him Karen Star. <coughs> Not me, of course. Some. Stay snitching and keep bitching. That's him with uh, Takashi69, another famous snitch. You know? And I can't say I understand this one here. What is this? That's the famous Karen in the park. Oh, wow. I'm not familiar with this photo. So very, people will get this? Yeah, very popular Karen meme. Okay. Just a sweet family was So enjoying. he's calling Susan, presumably? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Susie Potter and the bald didn't snitch. <laughs> that would be Susan Wojcinski, who he tagged on Twitter. <laughs> uh, Susan Wojcinski and the bald and snitch. Keemstar is the golden snitch from Harry Potter. Love that. Of course, I'd never I would love Kim. I wish the best for him. Oh, where's the honor? Where's the honorable mention meme? Is it in here and I missed it? I. Uh, there was the one with the Photoshop where you photoshopped his girlfriend out. Uh, that, that what, who what? It was in this folder. Probably took it out because it's too much. How is it too much? It's fantastic. 
I'm busted. How is that too much? It's not. It's just him in a pool. I have been caught. Like, literally don't care about the girlfriend or the breakup. I just love him in the pool. Add it back, please. I'm begging you. Or put it in Discord. Yeah, Cam, Cam can send it. Thank you. Good luck, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, Keemster's actually been, you know, taking applications for new girlfriends, which is, you know. Keemstar cock. What 40 men, 40 year old men do when they're looking for, you know, girlfriend. Thank you, Cameron. This was, um, yeah, I was just, this picture. <laughs> well, I don't see what's, what's so bad about this photo. Yeah, I don't see what's wrong with this one. I mean, it's a man in a jersey and a hat and a pool. Like, that's pretty normal. There was something photoshopped out of it, but I don't remember what. <laughs> and, you know, there was a big, there was some big Keemstar news, actually. It's been widely reported. I'm going to submit it without commentary, of course, because I don't want to harass Keemstar. I would never. Never. Too Mad posted this. Uh, let's watch. Yeah, he, Keemstar made an appearance on Aiden Ross's stream, very popular Twitch. We've talked about it a few times. Uh, here is Keemstar's appearance. FaceTime. FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, shit. So now what he fucking fuck? famous somehow, and I'm famous. Yo, you're in trouble. Why? Okay. Can you turn it up a little bit? That crypto shit. <laughs> hey, Steve, get his ass from right now. Bro. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, how, how we doing, though? Real good. You good? I just did a podcast with Tana Mojo. It was so raw, so real. Hey. I got that. Hey, Mr. Yo, Gemini. Buddy. What's up, buddy? Jesus, bro, you scared the f I think you should box. Here's why. You have natural energy. They see it in the stream, right? You need that. Like, you have natural energy. You got what some you mean, cold energy about you. <laughs> like, bro. like some cold, like fucking no emotions, like killer energy about you. I'm 39, she's 20. So he came at me like, call Sick me a creep or whatever. And he was like saying that I had like a little dick. My dick didn't work as shit. And he got in trouble with YouTube. Yeah, so here's Keemstar in a room of like people in a social setting. He's on stream. And what does he do? He brings me up. No one there gives a shit. It's like, shut up. He goes, Ethan said my pee-pee's small, and I'm dating a 20-year-old. And then I think the natural response that most of them are have, and then he goes, and then he got in trouble with YouTube. It's like, I think the natural response is, like, first of all, like, why do you care that he just made a stupid joke? And why are you celebrating they got banned on YouTube? Sound like a little snitch. It's also, just, for most of the people so in that room, other than Aiden, me, probably, who's Ethan? What are you talking about? Who are you? They have no, yeah, he thinks that everybody's <laughs> following our beef in the whole world. Again, I refuse that we have beef of any kind, I think. Team star, shut up. He's just obsessed with the story. But anyway, um, yeah, people don't care, and they are confused, and uh, it's like, I snitched to YouTube, and he got in trouble, and he said I had a little pee-pee, and I'm dating a 20-year-old. It's like, dude, bad vibes. Damn. So it's on the fence. You see, yeah. what do you think about that? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's even worse is every time that dude. Yo, he legitimately went on his show. This motherfucker went on his show. He said it was on antidepressants. And the side effects were that he didn't have feeling in his dick. Such Projection. He was Again, it's like. Game star, shut up. Why are you talking about that my my phallus doesn't have is as reduced sensitivity do you think really that these dudes want to hear that and furthermore <laughs> i don't think that it's the diss you think it is being like this dude is on the antidepressants pff, what a loser <laughs> like i really don't think that's the especially you're trying to reform yourself right as the new enlightened uh mental health advocate. I don't think making fun of somebody for taking antidepressants is, a, is necessarily a good look. 
It's a very common side effect, Keemstar. It's like a Romeo Julia. This is such a disaster for him. Like, dude, you came on, you're talking about another dude's <laughs> sensitivity in his penis? Team star cock. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Bro, so weird. And let's be honest, if you're going to accuse anyone of harassment or going below the belt, I think attack, I mean, making fun of me for being on antidepressants and having side effects is not really that valid, not really that cool of a commentary. Not that it offends me, and not that I'm going to complain to Mommy Susan. Just saying. Who's trying to put that on me? Cool, dude. He literally bounced. I'm focusing. Lie detected. The hood nigga lie detected the test. <laughs> so something funny happened, and then Keemstar overreacts so hard and kills the vibe. Watch this. They have to tell him to calm down. Absolutely Look at this, dude. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think uh, I was watching a video of a guy. He had, he had a really good observation. He's like, "This is what happens when you put Keemstar in a natural setting where um, you're not being lauded as some cool dude by a bunch of twelve year olds who who can ratio people on Twitter." Like, this is what real life is like. Great. And, you know, that's about all I have to say about Keemstar, who, you know, I think's a great guy. With love and adoration, the ultimate entertainer. The best in class. He's the best at what he does, folks. Keemstar. <laughs> There's actually one other f absolutely unbelievable story that I feel like I have to talk about before we get into it. The guy from InfoWars who made a whole story attacking me. In fact, he even went as freakishly low as to accuse me of being a P-word because I posted a picture of my newborn baby's butt on Instagram. Listen to this. By the way, this is the guy that shows the entire world uh, pictures, uh, loves to show pictures people pictures of his baby's butt. Uh, not, I, I wouldn't be into that. He's into that. But that's fine. <laughs> He's such a weirdo, dude. Jeez, anyway, this comes off of a whole YouTube, rant you know about how I was saying I think people should get vaccinated. Was this really related to the Crowder thing or was it something else? No. Another, another time that a bunch of right-wing weirdos got mad at you. It's amazing that just saying I think people should get vaccinated it's very upsetting. is enough to rile... All the hornet's nests. But anyway, this guy did like a whole 10 minute hit piece on me saying that. What did he say about me? Horrible things. And then he, he ended it up with saying, you know, I like Here's showing pictures of my baby's Ethan butt. Klein. He gets to exist on YouTube. Here. He gets to exist on Facebook. He yes, gets to I promote get to himself exist. on social media. And he knows in, in order to be able to do that, he has to promote the big government. He has to promote right. the big lie. That's what I'm doing. So that he can have his videos on YouTube. He says, hey, no vaccine so, passport. Yeah. If you want to be on YouTube, you words. have to promote vaccines. It's not fascism, you whiny F words. Right. This was why. We are trying to prevent people from dying. Oh, please. Oh, please. Why does he not? Oh, please. Why there's so there's big cursing? lie number oh, please. one. So first they insult yeah, you. Yeah, I found that, I found that to be ul an ultimate too. irony, too, is that for all the vile shit they say, uh, the F word is, 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 is a, yeah, a that's bridge the line. too far. Yeah. yeah. To hide their inferior intellect. Then they give you their very virtue signal. Lock. Anyway, this was a thing that happened. Well, the new the update with this guy is fantastic. Uh, let me just roll this clip and we'll take it from there. This was from a few days ago. It happened during a live broadcast of InfoWars. He got a call from his lawyer with some bad news. The deal, ladies and gentlemen. A couple hours ago, I was informed by my attorney that there is a warrant out for my arrest. Tragic. With allegations involving January 6th. 
You don't say. And I will have to turn myself in. No. Monday morning. <laughs> so sad for uh, him. There's a lot of questions. Some I have answers to. Some I don't. I'm not going to be getting into more of this today on the air. Good idea. And suck at a ding. I plan <laughs> on <laughs> declaring innocence of these charges because I am. And so there's some other stuff going on too. But uh, that's the deal. Good luck. And so I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment any further on this. I'm not gonna take any questions on this today. But again, I was informed by my lawyer that there's a warrant out for my arrest right now, and that I have to turn myself in by Monday morning. Bummer. So, uh, Such a just bummer. That. That ha why do good things happen? Why do bad things happen to good people? Yeah, he does. He's going to declare innocence. But good luck. Here's the complaint. Let's see. Let's just go to the exhibits where they show photos. Here's dipshit. Be a part of history. Fight for Trump. Here's dipshit. That's not that incriminating by itself. But this is storming the Capitol. Wait, storming the Capitol. Hello. I never sucked any ding dongs. Right. Storming the Capitol. This was put together by the FBI, presumably. Rough times, dude. Rough times, man. Can I just say in that whole clip, he was talking like Owen Wilson in that Marvel clip? He was? I don't know anything further. This, this is, is the first, first time, time for me being arrested the by the Universe. FBI. <laughs> this is the first time for me being, being held accountable. And this is the first time for me. When keeping it real goes wrong, hey? And can you believe I'm still walking the street while posting pictures of my newborn baby's butt once on Instagram? For shame. There's no justice in this world, is there? Well, with all that being said, let's throw it to a commercial break. And when we come back, let's get in to Mr. Verified. Time to take a short break. <laughs> hey guys, if you're interested in investing in cryptocurrencies but aren't sure where to get started, check out our friend's Kraken app. With Kraken, you can buy and sell over 50 of the most popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, on the go 24-7. It's super easy to get started. All you got to do is download the app, create your account, and you'll be investing in minutes. It's one of the coolest things about buying crypto through Kraken is that you don't need a lot of money to try it. So even if you want to buy some Bitcoin, you know, that's probably somewhere around 40,000, you can buy for as little as $10 just to get your feet wet with Kraken. You can buy a little, a little Bitcoin. Find out for yourself why Kraken has been one of the highest rated places to buy crypto for the last 10 years. Go to kraken.com slash H3 to learn more or search for Kraken in the app store. And remember, Kraken, they're friends of the show. These guys are awesome. We love Kraken. Uh, please support Kraken if you're in the market. Thank you. Thank you. This episode is brought to you by HBO Max. Many of us are plumbing into the depths of our streaming platform, searching for something new to watch. I know I am constantly looking for an entertainment fix. And if that's true for you, boy, do I have a suggestion? It's HBO Max. First of all, since I got on HBO Max, I find myself on there more than any other app. This is straight up facts. And they do this thing that is way too good to be true. They have same day movie premieres of the biggest movies of 2021 every single month. They've got Warner Brothers pictures will be released and available in your living room the same day. You can watch for free with the subscription, obviously, but it's like no additional charge. You go on the app, you can watch the movie. It's amazing. I did that with, um, um, what was the director's cut? The Schneide director's cut of Justice League, which I was hating. I watched all five hours of that boy and I liked it. I loved it. Um, here, I've got a list of some of the upcoming stuff. Suicide Squad, Squad that's out now. Super fun. Honestly, really enjoyed it. This one, they've got Dune. 
lots of hype for that. I'm super stoked. Yeah. Um, no additional cost to watch those when they come out. They've also got In the Heights, a musical event that celebrates the meaning of home. You can't go wrong with the creator of Hamilton and the director of Crazy Rich Asians. That is quite a roster. Space Jam is out, a new legacy. Look, you knew you loved the original, and now Space Jam is back with iconic LeBron James going all out Dunk City with the Toon Bugs. The Toon Bugs Bunny and this animated live action film. These titles and so many more will be available in theaters and on HBO Max for a limited time and at no extra charge to subscribers. The release dates are subject to change, so get on it and sign up for HBO Max at hbom.ax slash h3 podcast and if that link's a little confusing, you can go in the uh, description. Well, we'll link it there. It's HBO m.ax slash h3 podcast love you hbo using the internet without express vpn is like walking your dogs in public without securing them on a leash it's mental most of the time especially when my dogs they they'll they'll go after the first person they see killers most of the time you're probably fine but what if one day your dog wanders a bit too far and gets dog napped by someone or in my neighborhood coyotes? You know, you never say. That's why you need ExpressVPN. Every time you connect to an encrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, your online data is not secured. Any hacker, the same network can gain access to steal your personal data. I'm talking about passports, financial details, etc. Doesn't take much technical knowledge, you know, to hack someone. All you need is some cheap hardware. You know, a smart 12-year-old could do it. And that's why we need to protect our flipping data. And, you know, hackers are selling your information online for $1,000 per pop on the dark web? Nah, not having any of that. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It's super secure. It'd take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. No smart, and that ain't no smart 12-year-old getting that. It's easy to use. Fire up the app and click one button to get protected. Bada boom, bada bang. And it works on all devices, phones, laptops, tablets, and more, so you can stay secure on the go. Guys, get an ExpressVPN. It's not worth the risk. You know, use your, use your devices with the ease of mind. What I love the most yeah, about ExpressVPN is the peace of mind of being able to access any networks and know my information secure. So let's secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash h3. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash h3. And you get three extra months for free at expressvpn.com slash h3. Love you. So many Americans have experienced financial hardship in the last year. Let's face it. Upstart can help you regain your footing and get things back on track. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and it's expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loans. And with a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front, hence the name. Or Upstart, kind of. Not really. Uh, get your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. And you can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payment today by going to upstart.com slash h3 that's upstart.com slash h3 and don't forget to use our url to let them know we sent you loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application remember guys that's upstart.com slash h3 thank you thank you well guys it's about that time we've all been looking forward to this all year long and there's so much on the line. That's right, it's Mr. Verified. Who is he? Is that Mr. Verified? Is that Mr. Verified? 
It could be him. Wow. The winner gets the most valuable prize, an email by moi. The real Mr. Verified. Sorry? Uh, well, I, ha I mean, I am literally verified on all accounts. Fuck. What? What's wrong with what I said? I mean, I, th I thought we were picking Mr. Verified. How are you, Mr. Well, Verified? Well, I'm like, you know how the crown, like the queen hands her crown? At like... The queen never gives her crown. Stop it. Yes, the, the winner, the previous winner hands her crown to the new winner. Someone back oh, me up here. You're passing the torch. Yeah. yeah she, I thought we were talking about the queen of England. I was like, she the keeps... The queen of England? Get buried with a crown, Dan. Why did you go to queen of England? This is because Miss Universe. Because queen. Okay. You said the queen. Right. You're being... You're queen. ruining my intro. You're ruining my moment, Dan. This is about me right now. I'm the original Mr. Verified. And I'll be passing my crown to one of these worthy gentlemen. And as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Dan. The winner gets an email from yours truly. Hi, uh, so-and-so from Instagram. I know this great guy. He won the contest. Can you verify him? Uh, no. Oh, I tried. Mr. Verified. Because you can be Mr. Verified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's not about me. This evening is all about you guys. So without further ado, let's get started with the event. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome to the first uh, portion of Mr. Verified, uh, the questions and answers portion. We're going to test their intellect, their wit, and how quick they are on their feet. Number one coming up first is Ian, like that. Now, I just want to talk about here. Step up to the marker, please. Thank you so much. Now, I want to talk about a little bit about... Um, Right before we went on, there was a little bit of pants drama going on. Uh, Ian's tuxedo pants are about what looks like five sizes too big. Yep, yeah, I may have been caught with my pants down a little bit. Do you, now, what's your theory on why you got the pants way too big? I mean, there's a couple of theories floating around the office that I may have overheard. <laughs> Go ahead. What'd you hear? I just heard somebody, you know, say someone might have had the right pants. I don't know. Zach was ref Zach clearly has Ian's pants and was refusing to give them I'm up. I'm not refusing. I said, let's switch fucking pants. But only now. We've been waiting I 20 never, minutes. I never refused. And they were trying to fix his crazy waistline. I never <laughs> refused. Zach, I saw you next to the bathroom and you go, I'm not wearing the big pants. You're the big Is that not what you said? Do you want me to switch fucking pants? Well, no, not wait, now. no, no. Answer that question. Did you say that? I don't remember saying that. Oh no. God. I want to defend Zach. Oh. Oh, I yeah. Mean, you were there, AP? I didn't I'm see you. I'm going to defend there. Zach. I think Zach's being used right now. I think he's being used as a bit. Thank but you. I think he's wearing his pants. Why is Ian's pants so big then? I don't know. And Just because Dan co-signed. Dan said Zach's wearing. Well, Ian's pants. I clearly. got Zach coming up to me, complaining that his <laughs> pants are too small. The and I got length Ian of the coming pants. over to me, complaining his pants are too big. I'm like, you guys obviously clearly. There's a. Uh, are you doing a goof I'm right two now? I'm putting two together. No, I'm not making any dog. accusations. <laughs> no, no, no. But you can't tighten it. No, you can't tighten it. Oh, you this can only max, loosen it. This is literally maxed out. Is it, you can't tighten it. You can only loosen yeah, it. Yeah, I, I can make it looser if that helps. Let's <laughs> really get them sagging. Well, these are fitted custom tuxedos, Zach. So fitted. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> they're fitted. I mean, everyone's looking pretty sharp uh, to me. Do we Am all I get measured by the same person? Yes. There's a little funny business going on here. I, <laughs> I think say. I think Zach's got Ian's pants. Come out here, Zach. Let's take a look at your pants. All right, he's coming. Let's just weigh in here because <laughs> this is important to the Mr. Verified lore. Okay, now now those are looking a little snug on you, Zach. <laughs> what do we think? What size is that? What's the waist size? Come out here. Come out here. You don't know the waist size? They, they they were like let's suit him like a like a scuba suit. I mean, look at how big his waist is. <laughs> look at these, dude. I mean, that's way too big. I could smuggle. Nice shot, AB. Why we well, why are we showing the shoes? Dude, you're packing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, yeah, those are too high, and you're taller than than Ian. This is like clearly you have his pants. You want to go switch fucking pants? I don't want to. No, no, she I'm kind of. <laughs> you know what? I should have came out with like just a barrel with like now, straps over my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask a question. Let me ask: Were the suits set aside with the pants? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, As no, they were all packaged unit. together, and they were labeled by name. It would have it would have been at the tailor. They swapped them. So th- it was nothing happened here. Zach and Ian. Yes. Do you guys want to go switch pants real fast, and let's see if maybe this was what happened? Let's do a fat, a quick pants swap, if we could, please. We'll all take right. a short break okay. here for a pants swap. Go ahead, right. quickly. Okay, we've performed a pants swap, and the results is not what anyone expected, except well, they're actually even bigger now, right? <laughs> They much bigger now, eh? Oh, I'm a little confused. He can't button. Oh, I thought I just saw your junk, but it was just a wrinkle. So not these pants. These pants won't. These pants won't stay up on me. And look how fucking short they are. Can we okay. pan down? Look how short they are. So are these coming in pretty tight on the waist? No, they're big. They won't. That does. Oh, that's, oh. Well, his was big. Well, I mean that's comically big. No, you're like. You're this like, doesn't this make. Is s- big. Dude, look at this. This doesn't. No, but. Okay, this, the debate is over. The tailor has made a mistake. Zach, you can have no, a seat. No, but here's the real mystery. Zach just had these on. And what are you were, saying? They were staying up. Yeah, because he has a bigger waist. What's the mystery? But he's not here. <laughs> well, apparently he is. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Uh, I think that in conclusion, I think you did have the right pants, Ian, and uh, the tailor made a little bit of a so calculation there. So pants back? You want them back? Are I they do. better? Oh, come on. We don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Look, these keep falling down, dude. Like, <laughs> There's no way those are bigger than these. Yes, they are. No, these are bigger. Guys, can Let's we please look. just do the show? Let's do the show. Can I just say, Zach, I, I believed in you. Sure. For once, <laughs> we were on the same All side right. and we were right. All right, moving on. We're filming this at 4.50 because I had massive diarrhea, crippling diarrhea, and we had to start super late. So we are um, trying to push through here, guys. Crippling diarrhea. Okay. Thank you. Should All I right. Behind you again or what? Okay. Nope. You. You're okay. Here we go. Ian, step up to the uh, marker, please. Okay, Miss Ian. You have one minute. Can you put on a one-minute timer here? One minute to answer each question uninterrupted. Got it. Like speed, like Jeopardy, or not Jeopardy? Yeah. Family Feud speed round. It's hot in here, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, was that your answer to some kind yeah, of? You want me to just slam them out? Okay. All right, here All we right, go. You ready, Dan? We got yeah. one minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your first question. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is time? You have one minute. <clears throat> time. Wait, is that my only question? I have a You're... minute to answer time. Yes. Five seconds. Okay. 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 I'm killing time. Time. Well, time. You know, if I get verified. If I get verified, time is is I measure time in the amount of swipe ups I can get on my freaking brand deals, selling pots, pans, all sorts of bullshit. Every additional second, swipe up, baby. <laughs> cash out, cash out, baby. I'm doing Gabe. <laughs> uh, time, time is money, guys. Time is. I mean, I have a whole, I have a whole freaking. How much time? I have a, if you want to know my entire lecture about what time, is time, it's 55 parts. You can get it once I'm verified. If you go to link in bio, I'll describe to you my 55 part course time discussion. Maximize your growth, baby. We go into somewhere. <laughs> wow. What an interesting answer. Unexpected an unexpected twist on the time old question. What is time? What is time? Thanks, dude. Fascinating. <laughs> having issue, having pants issues. Uh, okay, we have one more question for you. Oh. I just gotta say these these pants are so fucking short on me. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Zach, I listen. I got I got diarrhea, bro. We got to push through. <laughs> we just don't have the time to stop. I this mean, isn't blue checkmark. This is, behavior, this is all. Dude. This is all. Bar- we're on borrowed time right now. Speaking we're on of time. borrowed pants. That's what we're on. Okay. All right. Pipe down. Just take off the pants if it's bothering you. I mean, put on your normal pants. You know, he's like, wait, that's an option. All right, next question. Okay. Ian, take your time. 
Pick all time. It's no longer about time. And the timer has not started. Step up to your marker, please. Okay. What is gravity? And why isn't it up? One minute. <clears throat> I don't need a whole minute. You want to know about gravity? Look at my pants. <laughs> Every second pulled to the floor. Why? I don't know. The tailor knows about gravity. Expert. Theory of relativity is moving strong in me. A minute? Okay. Gravity. What is gravity and why isn't it up? Gravity. Oh, why isn't it up? Oh, well. But it's not in the right spot. Um, how much time I got? Yeah, about 40 seconds. I could do more. Why isn't it up? Gravity. It's, it's, Please answer the question. Um, it's up because it's up because it's up because it's stuck. Lyrics by Cardi B. Out now. Please answer the question. What is gravity? She said it. That's what. It's up because it's stuck, dude. Check the lyrics. Lyric genius. All right. I would say another interesting response from young Ian. A little bit of a, an invasive answer, I'll say, but uh, an answer nonetheless. He filled his, his time. Well, Ian. Any final uh, plea? Okay. <laughs> hey, don't look over here. Dude. I mean, I kind of caught me. But, I mean, I kind of got. Don't have a choice when you flash me like that. Jesus. Any parting uh, message for the voters? <clears throat> um, if you guys vote for me, give me that blue check here. I might be able to get some clothes that fit, and um, that'd be big. That'd be big for me. All right. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Thank you. Up next. Thank you. Wow. Tremendous uh, responses from Ian. Up next, we have none other than the wizard, the EP, the great executive producer himself, Dan! Up next, we have none other than Dan. Step up to the plate here, please. Dan, Dan looking sharp, looking great. You see that last guy? He looked like fucking shit. Yeah, yours fits. Yours actually fits great. So oh, I don't know what shout happened. Shout out, Dan. How are you feeling? Um, how are you feeling about getting questions? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling confident? Uh, get us into your state of mind, please. Well, as you know, I have no interest in being here. Um, I think this entire competition is a sham and a waste of time. Um, other than that, I feel great though. Well, you did say about the Ethereum we sold, and you happily took the five Ethereum. So. I think you would happily take a blue check mark if it came your way. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. When we, <laughs> we will. Well, if you win. It's a big if. That's a big if. Okay. Back to follow. Not going to lie. All right. Well, if you would please answer these questions and try to stay on point if you could uh, as well. Step up, step up to your mark, please. First question is coming to you. Do we have one minute on the clock back there? We got a year. Okay. Why don't two wrongs make a right dan you have one minute why don't two wrongs make a right that's a good question because as everybody knows uh, in mathematics uh when you multiply two negatives it actually converts into a positive um but we're not talking about that we're talking about morality here that and we're talking support. about I, i'm saying that it doesn't translate yeah, it doesn't i translate. know it does not translate at all um it's not really even relevant to the question that was posed. <laughs> no. It just kind of was the first place that my mind went. And I mean, there's a, you could, you could see how there's a parallel there. Negative, the word negative sort of, you know, implies a wrong and then a right. You could please take answer that to the be question. A positive number. Um, why don't two wrongs make a right? 10 seconds. Um, Ten? Jeez. A, that went fast. Um, that went way faster than Ian's. Yeah, uh, um, I, I guess I don't have an answer. Okay. Then we have our first I, I ever. Know. I'm out. I, I do not know. All right, Dan, answer. how do you think that went for you? There? I, it was okay. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, I feel like you're like going I, with the mathematics, but then it kind of just took you in the wrong direction. Yeah, I mean, you, you push back on it a little bit, and I, I folded immediately. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, that's true. That is what happened. I had nothing. Yeah. I had nothing after that. Well, I'll say compared to Ian's, you sounded pretty smart. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, that with, with peace and love. With peace and love. Peace and love. All right. You ready for your next question? I am. I'm ready. All righty. Dan, you have one minute when I'm done completing the question. Mm -hmm. What comes first, the chicken or the egg and why? Go ahead. 
Um, it's an age old question. It's one that's been asked many times of many people far smarter than I. However, they've never given the correct answer. The correct answer is that the um, the egg came first. All right. Would you like to support that? No. How much time I got left? Uh, you have 45 seconds. So can I bank that for the next question or something? Absolutely not. Oh. And why? And why was well, a crucial second part? Listen, because in evolution, you know, uh, it, it, these things happen in uh, over long, long stretches of time. And when the first, you know, mutation into something that could be qualified as a chicken occurred, that being was born in an egg. Therefore, the egg was laid and then out hatched some sort of mutated creature that we now call a chicken. So clearly the egg Ten seconds. is obvious. I mean, if you really just think about it for even two seconds, it's, it's not even a difficult question. Egg. Fantastic. Am I out of time? And time. Yeah. Fantastic. So I nailed that one. I think you did pretty good. I mean, uh, passionate, um, well, well conveyed. Thank you. Well, Dan, thanks for uh, your answers. I appreciate that. And um, and uh, I wish you all the best in the competition. Is there any final uh, remark for the voters out there? Yeah, don't, for, don't vote for me. All righty. Do not vote for me. There you You heard it from Dan himself. Thank you. Thank you. I'm serious. Thank you. I feel like he's doing a little bit of a reverse psychology there. Dan is secretly hoping to win. Up next, we've got Zachary. Zach, the sound lad. He's coming up next. The sound bite master of destruction and despair. The shredder. The cameo king. Zach. Oh, thank you very much. That was a very kind introduction. You're absolutely oh, very gentlemanly thank today. Very Unlike much. the other's demeanors, you actually care about this contest. <laughs> Zach, I have some questions for you. Are you feeling confident today? Very, yes. Feeling good? Feeling very and good. And how are you feeling about the competition? Are you feeling about your competitors? Um, I love these guys. You do? I really do. So, you know, it's all good fun, what we're doing. Spoken so. like a real Mr. Verified. I'm going to toss you some questions. You have one minute to answer each question. Step up to your uh, plate there, please. Um, one minute on the clock. Are we ready? Yes. Zach. Yes. Where does the future go once we've experienced it? One minute. This is a very, um, it's a very deep question because I feel like it's definitely open for interpretation. The future goes, I believe, in your heart. You know, you have fond memories and, um, you know, you, you have a lot of love in your life. So it goes to the heart. You know, you experience things, past, present, future, whatever it may be. I don't think we should call it the future. I think we should call it the everything, the theory of everything. Interesting. So I think it goes to your heart, your soul. Thus, the future ascending into your own being, making you more than just a person, more than just a human. Five seconds. And everything. We are all everything, aren't we? We're all everything. One is one, two is two. Three might even be four. Ten seconds. But I just want to say that, Ethan. We're all everything. And that's where the future goes. You got five seconds. Just want to say that. I'm done. Five seconds. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you for that five question. Seconds. Well, you know what? I'll say a very um, cerebral response. Oh, uh, thank you. Very thank you, thank very you very thoughtful. much. Thank you, thank you. You know, you had me very much in the beginning. You kind of went off track a little bit at the end, mm. lost me. Mm. Okay. But I appreciate the F. Oh, laughter? That's not appropriate. I mean, at least he answered the question, Dan. All right. Very good. I like where this is going. Thank you. How do you feel about that answer? I, uh, it was from the heart. It was from the heart. Everything is everything, one is one. You said maybe three is four. Do you want to unpack that? Well, I feel like we live in a society where things could change. You know, things that are... are uh, we live in a society? We do live in a society. Yes. Interesting. And you are joker brand, right? Uh, yes. Okay, interesting. Yes. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Next question. One minute, Zach. You know the rules. Okay. Why do bad things happen to good people? One minute. <sighs> Why do bad things happen to good people? I feel like this is another similar question as like the one before where it's left open for interpretation. Maybe I'm just stating the obvious, but you I feel are. like the universe has to level out in a way. You know, I've lost a, you know, a lot of people I've looked up to this year and yeah, they were good people, but like Sinatra said, that's life. You know, that's, that's life. 
That's Frank Sinatra. Let's debate that after the uh, time's expired. It's Frank you Sinatra. That's that. life. Fact, and you fact know what, check. Dan? I'm doing this my way. So thank you very much. Oh, there you go. Very okay. good. So why do bad seconds. things happen to good people? I like I, I like I said. I, I feel like the universe has to level out in a way. Level out the playing field. Interesting. You know, we're all human. We're all here for uh, uh, a short amount of time. So people put good in the world, and you know, unfortunately, they have to pass away. But that's that. I like Thanos. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's Zach. time. Kind of an interesting equality of outcome uh, answer there. Things must even out, and that's why good bad bad things happen to good people. And that's life. Interesting. <laughs> if you were God and you controlled, would you? make bad things happen to good people in the effort of evening things i don't know if i can answer that question because i feel like it'd be hard to be in god's shoes and make those decisions interesting but, well um you are god what if god was one of us, what if god was one of us dan asks isn't a place on earth dan all right zach very very pensive and serious here during this segment which i like um, that was your second question. So with that, I want to thank you for your well, thoughtful thank and serious you. approach to this contest. Unlike thank some you. of these other hacks. Thank you very much for having me you up here. You look sharp. The pants are looking a little tight and a little short, but we love that for you. <laughs> I'm a big man. What can I say? Absolutely. The biggest. <laughs> big man, big heart. Zach, the sound Thank lad. you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Up next, the simp. The sergeant of symptom, the heartthrob, the man whose name is the first two letters of the alphabet, AB. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause. Thank you. Um, what is going? So you want to just uh, talk about your decision to tape your hands green? Well, last time the comments made fun of my hands for shaking because I have a tremor. So go ahead, step up to the. So here. so this time I have no hands. So, so you're hiding. So you want to put your hand up? Let's see if we can see. You're like Uncle Jack, dude, from It's Always Sunny. Um, yeah, I don't watch the show, but I trust Zach. I'm Uncle Jack. <laughs> All right. Interesting approach. Just hide what you can't, uh, what, you, what you're embarrassed by. Exactly. Good lesson for the people. Thank Why you. is the mic uh, shaking so much? Dan, can you uh, proceed, please? All right. Leave him alone. Come on. Step, uh, stay on the marker, please. Uh, Thank you so much. I'm gonna have to deduct points if you stray too far. Sorry, I apologize. Thing. How are you feeling? How are you? I'm feeling good. Yeah, you feeling I feel, confident? I feel very confident with my hands missing. I'm good. Okay. No fear today, baby. Fantastic. All right, you know the rules. We've got two questions. One minute for each. Please be serious and stay on topic. You got we it. We love that. One minute on the clock. First question. If man developed from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Well, being that I was a bio major in college, I would say it's because of ketogenesis, which is a point in time at which one species diverges into two others or more. So, right, Dan said right, so, okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> which means that we share a common ancestor, but uh, we're different species. But why are there still monkeys, AB? Because Joe Rogan needs something as a shtick for his uh, thumbnails. Why are there still monkeys, AB? <sighs> because Aladdin couldn't do it alone and he needed a boot. AB, could you just tell me why is there both monkeys and human beings on the earth at one time? 20 seconds. That's a contradiction. The same reason that you're still on the earth and there's still other animals, different species. Why are there still monkeys, AB? <laughs> I explain more to you after if you'd like. Well, seems like you still have some time, so go and ahead. And that's time. All right. Well, a very scientific, factual explanation from Young AB. We love that. So you're telling me here today and the world at large that the monkey and the human can exist at the together same. at the same time. In harmony. Blasphemy. You're going to burn in hell for eternity for that shit. It's okay. My grandma already told me I'm going there. Maybe she's a... I mean, I don't want to be rude, but... Maybe she's one of the spiteful monkeys that... Uh, <laughs> that didn't evolve all the way? She's, bro, she's my grandma's, living... My she's, grandma's dead, bro. Well, I mean, that doesn't change her <laughs> what she okay. was. Okay. Ask Zach about memories. What happens with memories? <laughs> Stays in the heart. Right. Well, peace and love to your grandma. I was just trying to make yeah, a joke. Yeah, yeah, I'm I don't fine. know. Your grandma's probably... Yeah, she was great. Yeah. 
shout out. Oh, you're helping. All right. How was the, how did you feel about that answer? How are you feeling? I felt confident in the beginning and as time went on, a little less confident and then towards the end, a little bit sad. Sad? Why sad? My grandma. Oh, I'm so no, sorry. I'm totally kidding. Oh my I'm goodness. kidding. I'm kidding. Turn it on me now. Huh? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Like wrong. the Twilight movies. I feel like uh, Dave, I feel like uh, Steve Harvey mixing up the envelopes no, 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 here. No, 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 My grandma's alive and well. She's good. I'm just fucking around. Oh, she's still alive? She's good. Shame on you. You, I cannot believe you used her death <laughs> for a punchline. Shame on you. Shame on me. Incredible. Amazing. All right, here's your last question. You have one minute. You know the rules. Okay. This is the last question of the evening. Imagine you are standing beside tram tracks. In the distance, you spot a runway trolley hurling down the tracks toward five workers who cannot hear it coming. Even if they do spot it, they won't be able to move out of the way in time. As this disaster looms, you glance down and see a lever connected to the tracks. You realize that if you pull the lever, the tram will be diverted down a second set of tracks away from the five unsuspected workers. However, down this side track is one lone worker, just as oblivious as his colleagues. So would you pull the lever, leading to one death, but saving five? That is a long question. Okay. So if I, can you say the last two lines? Is this deducted from my time? 50 seconds. <laughs> okay. So if I hit the lever, it's going to hit one person rather than four. You will intervene, but in the act, murder one. But you can let nature run its course and let five die. Who's the one person? Your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, uh, being that I didn't get the complete question, and I love my grandma, I'll save my grandma. You're willing to kill five men to save your grandma? I'd kill 50 who men. Who you just killed for a joke? I'd kill 100 30 men. seconds ago. Yes. 10 seconds. Unless you were one of those four, then it would be a tough decision. Wow. Sam. <laughs> I believe you, actually. And that's time. I, I, I actually believe you. Thank you. Uh, if you, so. if you, if my, if you, if there was a train coming, mm -hmm. you pulled a lever. You had to decide, Nana or Ethan. Uh huh. Who do you save? Who do you kill? I mean, be honest. Granny don't pay the bills, you know. Hell no, she don't. Not like Daddy Ethan. <laughs> Sorry, say Tessa. it. Say it. <laughs> I'd like save you. Movies. That's my no, no, boy. No, no, no. Say, I'll kill my grandmother. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to say, I would kill my grandmother. I will kill. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Dan. How about that? It's sound right. like that. Zach. We won't, we won't, we won't for it. We, we don't want, we don't want Nana getting that sound bite. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well right. done, everybody. Thank you, AB. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, grandma. Guys, next up, we have uh, a category that cannot be understated. It's important. It's hip. It's uh, it's everything. Fashion. The guys are coming out in their hottest outfits that they're wearing when they're not at work, and we are going to be judging them based on that. So That's stay I. tuned, if you would, please. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the outfit category of Mister Verified, the most Mac Daddy, the slickest outfit for picking up the honeys or just cruising on a nice Sunday day on the beach, whatever it is, your coolest outfit. Now, I'm very interested. <clears throat> See these guys pulled together because I'll be honest, a bunch of hooligans back here. I'm curious how they how they clean up. So our first contestant here is, of course, Ian, the salaried employee. Uh, everybody put your hands together for Ian. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Got some open heel sandals. Red pants. A, oh, of course, a Starbucks coffee. That's part of your outfit. Ian is a Starbucks. What's that say? Born again. Dior. Christian Dior. Oh, he's dripping, ladies and gentlemen. What brand is the uh, shirt there? Is that a brand? Do I talk? Yeah, it's a. Uh, hey, the mic's in your in your face. Yeah, it's brands trying to tell market. The shirt is. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, A little streetwear for you. Wait, there's there's a uh, 
a second phase here. What is this walking into frame? It's a homeless beggar. Need some cash, please help. Ian is not interested. Uh-uh. Wait. He has an idea. He has an idea. Gave him a dollar for the photo, for the Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. Yes. Yes. Get a value out of every dollar. Oh, he takes it back. Brutal. Brutal. Okay. Another transformation. Here we go. Oh, it's the influencer wings. He could take it with him anywhere. Wow. That is stunning. Usually you have to go to the wings. Well, with Ian, the wings come to you. Unbelievable, folks. Very strong showing. Can we get a full look here with the wings and everything? Wow, wow, wow. Pray to your one true God, Mr. Verified. Well done. Well done. Very impressive first entry from Ian, the influencer. And I assume you're doing a little bit of an audition for what you would be like as Mr. Verified, as a verified influencer on Instagram. So a little bit of a sneak peek of what you can expect from our first annual Mr. Verified. Fantastic. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, coming up next, we've got Dan. Very exciting. So let's go ahead and get that set up. Dan, come on over. All right, everybody. Put your hands together for our second candidate in fashion. Spicy hot outfits. It's Dan the producer coming out in what's unfortunately the same color as our green screen behind us keyed out completely as a mountain dew vest ladies and gentlemen uh you dress in mountain dew gear on your saturdays dan is saying yes oh what's behind more mountain dew gear ladies and gentlemen what is going on with all this Mountain Dew gear, Dan? Well, you were giving me this platform uh, on the show, so I decided to get a sponsor. Oh, you're sponsored by Mountain Dew? All righty. We have conflicting. Uh, did anyone clear that? Did anyone clear the? You got You're supposed to clear it. No, I texted you about it. You, you never responded. You can't bring your own sponsors on the show. You know you can bring your own sponsors. Yeah, because you're on my show. You're using my platform. Let me have this. All right. Dan in the Mountain Dew. Um, lots of Mountain Dew. Keyed out. And uh, why don't you take off your glasses? Let's get a look at that face. Okay, more glasses. You are inside, but if you're on the beach or something, it can get pretty sunny. Double wrapped, he says. Okay, you want to get a shot of his shoes? Let's see. We got... We got the sandal slide-ons with some socks. You know how it is. It's comfort, it's utility, it's everything you love and more. Dan. All righty, anything else? All right, go ahead. Thank you, Dan. Wow. What a showing here. A little bit confused bringing on his own sponsors. That's a little bit of a faux pas in my opinion, but uh, we'll talk about that after the show. Mountain Dew? I can't even get Mountain Dew. How'd you get Mountain Dew? Okay. I want some Mountain Dew money. All right. Coming on next is Zachary. Young Zach the Sound Lad. Coming in with a hot, hot entry. Some say he's the heartthrob. Some used to say he's a heartthrob. Whatever his th heartthrob status is, you know who he is. He's Zach the Sound Lad. The legend. Here, rocking it, bringing you the hottest look, Zach. Cowboy boots, always. Jeans. Uh, what shirt you got? I'm very. You got. You got a lot of buttons down there, buddy. Some may say one button too low. Some may say one button too high. Let the other button down. Let's see what. Let's see how low it goes. You're not comfortable with that one? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. He said no to the button request. 
Show off your your jack there. Jacket, Led Zeppelin. Okay. Oh. Giving himself a little spank. He's too sexy, gotta kiss himself. All right, that is Zach. I'll say in Zach's defense here, or in, in his favor, he's actually take, I feel like you actually cruise around in that outfit, unlike these other clowns. And, and the boots as well. Get a shot of those boots again. Those boots are pretty wild. I'm not even gonna lie. It's pretty wild, but we love it. We love the gen the ingenuity and the man is being himself. So that is Zach, everybody, on fashion. Give it up, round of applause, round of applause. Oh, these boots weren't made for walking. And he sure isn't walking off stage. That's the cue I've given him. There he goes. Zach, thank you, thank you. All right. An exciting competition. We've got one more contestant. You guys know AB is coming out. All right, guys. Finally, we are here with AB, commonly known, dethroning Zach as the heartthrob. And unfortunately, I would say those scars have not yet healed. But today, they continue to do battle. AB, come center stage, and let's see this outfit. Okay, okay, okay. A little Marty McFly, a little, uh, you know, hip, casual. Oh my God, it's the Cosby doll stitched to his back. What is this look? This is high fashion. This is shocking. This is the evolution of streetwear. Let's give us a spin. Let's get a look at that thing. Damn, you better wear that thing out. On. I swear to God, I, yeah, I want to see your ass cruising down Hollywood Boulevard with that on. I need it. I need a video of it. Are you are you committed to doing that? Yes, whatever you want. You got it. And I want I feel like if I win. I feel like there's no way. Oh, he's maybe sullying the jury pool a little bit. But I feel like there's no way you don't get a reaction walking around that thing. I mean, that is wild. Are you is this a Marty McFly inspired outfit or just he says no. Alrighty. Cosby doll. Okay. Wow. Made me uncomfortable. All right. Well, thank you guys. This is the fashion uh, segment. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you all were impressed by these fine young specimens. And so we will be moving on to our final portion up next, which of course talent Ooh, some people say this is what decides the competition we'll find out stay tuned all right guys our final and some would say most important category the talent uh first up we have young ian the salaried employee here with a nice little setup i am not going to waste too much time ian i will let you uh why don't you introduce it and tell us a little bit about what you're planning here Okay, so uh, since this is a quest to be verified and really like the ultimate symbol of me like fully selling out, I've got a array of uh, stereotypical Instagram products here and I'm going to try and sell them as fast as I can within 90 seconds. So we're gonna do a bunch of free ads, 90 seconds, really earn that check. So see how many I can like can clear. All righty, yeah. Dan, let's get 90 seconds on the clock. Ready. And uh, whenever you're ready, Ian, begin. Okay. All right, say when, uh, Dan. All right, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, uh, Kim Kardashian sent me this skim box. I'm really excited to unbox it with you guys. Let's see what she sent today. Oh, it's so earthy. Oh, it's so earthy. Oh my God, look, it's so like boring. Okay. Bang Energy, we love Bang Energy. If you need a boost, potent brain and body fuel, birthday cake bash with creatine, Bang Energy. Chug it, finish it all. If you want that Bang Energy box, pretty good swift. <laughs> yeah. Flat tummy tea, this is like a laxative. When you guys got a shit and you don't know how, flat tummy tea. Wait, for real? <laughs> what, wait. <laughs> It's a laxative tea? Alpha brain. Oh. Memory and focus. Return to being a monkey, guys. Hit slam that shit. 
the fuck? Are those, is that mixture approved this by the FDA? This is Sugar Bear Hair. You want to take down your local favorite YouTube child predator? Hit Sugar Bear Hair. Product com competition of James Charles. Mm. All right, that's a beauty pack. Shay's Shay's body scrub, looking fresh. But, but. All right, this is Fanny Beauty. I don't know what this does. Fanny Beauty. Uh, Kylie Cosmetics. We hit some of this. Oh man, I'm looking so fresh, just like Kylie. This is what Kylie always wanted. And a booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it Amazing. Now, did you finish all the products you had intended? I don't know. Did, what, what does the judge say? Did I add? It's, it seems like you hit everything. What is this one? Boo tea? Dude, <clears throat> another laxative. This is a laxative? Yeah. And then, and then, what was it? Okay. Go ahead. And then, okay. Yeah, take, go ahead. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Ian, who just had like fatal diarrhea. Going for the laxatives, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you got a little bit of a castaway vibe going on here. <sighs> okay, so what was that laxative uh, powder you were eating? That's, so this, this is a <clears throat> flat tummy tea. It really just makes you shit. Yeah, well, <laughs> it makes your tummy flat by like shitting it all out. Okay, we love that. I want some flat tummy. <sighs> yeah. I'm working on my flat tummy right now. All shit right, like so. Well, Ian, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? Are you happy with your performance? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you have a mic, but. No, it's good. It's like the Chipotle nightmare is probably gonna hit me again. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, fantastic. Yeah, good. All good right. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I do wonder if we, thank you, Ian. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dan, can you call uh, Poison uh, Control because I'm just a little bit concerned about. Yeah, I already, I already had him on okay, standby. Good. I'll, I'll let them know. Because Alpha Brain and Bank Energy may be a fatal combination. Yeah. Sugar Bear? I didn't know these were in the budget. Aren't these pricey? You know, pricey, right? Mmm. You don't have to talk to a calorie. I don't know. Oh, they're vegan. Wow, sister snapped. Sorry, Tata. I'm loving these Sugar Bear vitamins. All right. Oh, Ian, fantastic job. That was a lot of fun. Up next, you know him, you love him, it's Dan. <laughs> Up next on the talent feet, we have Dan the Wizard, who I'm sure is going to be delivering for us some wizardry today. No wizardry today, actually. Alrighty. I'll be delivering a speech. Okay, and something tells me this is gonna be some of an anti-talent, am I right? Well, what are you trying to say? You know exactly what I'm saying. You're trying to throw. I know you're trying to throw it, but we'll I. See. We'll yeah. see. Okay. All right, guys. With further, without further ado, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a specter haunting the internet, the specter of shit posting. All the powers of Silicon Valley have entered into an unholy alliance to exercise this specter. Zuckerberg and Dorsey, Bezos and Wajiki, mods, Who's and Wajiki? reporters. Susan. Oh, Wajinski. Wajinski, whatever. Where is the poster in opposition that has not been decried as a troll by their opponents in power? Where is the opposition that has not been hurled back the branding reproach of troll against the more advanced blue check marks? Two things have resulted from this fact. Shitposting is already acknowledged by the entire tech industry and powers that be itself a power. Joe Biden, wake up. <laughs> Two, it is high time that shitposters should openly, in the face of the whole world, post their views, their trolls, their lowbrow humor, and meet this nursery tale of the specter of shitposting <clears throat> with a manifesto of shitposting itself. And to that end, my dear viewers, I implore you, cast not your vote for me, for it would be wasted. Should by some unfortunate circumstance, the blue check mark fall upon my account, you have my word that I will do everything in my power to anger the mods enough that they revoke such a vile brand seared upon my flesh. That is my promise. Nay, my oath that I take before all of you today. 
to this end. I reject the false premise that one's value and agency on the internet may be bequeathed by a Silicon Valley employee, like some sort of lordly king of old. No, we have long since passed movement, the need for kings. And in that same sense, we must accept that if we have long moved past the need for such false merits bestowed by some blue checky, <laughs> I call upon all verified, unverified posters of the world, rise up. Rise up and cast down the blue checkies. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> from their delicate glass thrones. Thank you. Good night. And good luck. Wow, riveting. With a, even an eat the rich moment at the end there, pointing me out. I mean, what the hell did I do to deserve that? Wow, who could have who could have possibly guessed that we would be delivered an anti-speech from Dan, who's both rejecting but also kind of begging for votes no. Don't go you're ready to wake up so your pledge is that if you win the verified checky you will be on a quest to to lose it as soon as i'll possible. post on i'll post on on my instagram you can post okay you're yeah you'll post <laughs> you'll post dick is that your plan day one <laughs> okay interesting interesting okay I mean, that's a pretty good selling point. I will definitely lose that jackpot. <laughs> that's a good selling proposition. Dan, hmm, speechless. So what was your skill exactly? Or, or, or oration? Yeah, yeah. Your speaker. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Go ahead. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, that was riveting, powerful. A little bit of a, uh, hmm, a working class moment. Eat the rich, eh? Joe Biden. Tell me how you really feel about me. <laughs> All right. Well, how you feeling? You want to come out and kind of do debrief a little bit? How, how, how do you feel about how your speech went? It kind of undercuts the whole like mic drop moment if I come back. Well, you know, that's, that's it. There's, sort of the idea was I would like walk off I get, yeah. and that would well, be the end of that. But yeah. here I am. Yeah, you're back. Yeah. So how do you feel? Uh, I mean, I wish I could have memorized it, but I, I wrote it. That's about a lot. 10 minutes before we started uh, recording today. So. Yeah, well, that's a lot to memorize. That's yeah. okay. But you feeling good? You felt like it was delivered well? You're, f you're feeling confident that people are going to yeah, vote I mean, for you? There's always room for improvement. Well, right. you no, know, I'm not confident that people are going to vote for me. Don't no. vote for me. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dan. Thank, Thank you. you, Dan the Wizard, everybody. Fantastic showing. His talents of oration. Well, up next, we've got, um, I believe, Zach, young Zach. Let me guess. We're going to be having an old guitar. Woo! Am I right? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Let's bring out Zach. Let's get him ready. All righty. Up next, we have young Zach the Shredder. He's got his guitar out here. He's looking slick. How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling very good. What's this guitar you've got? Is this a special guitar? This is a special guitar. This is an Eddie Van Halen Wolfgang model. God rest his soul. Uh, it's in mystic purple and its name is Panama. Oh, this is Panama? Like the canal? Or after the Van Halen song. Oh. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, I think the canal is, uh, you know. <laughs> Come on, Dan. Make us all look bad out here. Shout out to Ian, who's actually having a nice puke after p chugging a ton of laxatives. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, but um, is he back? Oh, there you are. How you feeling, Dan? You want to chime in? <coughs> Not at the moment. Oh, my God. The audio is blasted out. Are you regretting your decision, too, or are you happy? Talk, talk to me. <clears throat> uh, mm, you know, anything to sell out, I'll do it. How's your stomach feel? Uh, it's not great. Not great. Not great. A rough day for me and Ian. Rough week specifically for Ian. You have any well wishes for Ian, your competitor? I that was some legend shit, dude. So I just I tip my hat to you, man. You know, you know the the one thing that would probably make me feel way better would be a slamming song from Zach. Oh. Wow! All right. Well, you heard it here. You got a shout out from the man on death's bed on the deathbed here. He's got one request left. A shred from Zach. So with that being said, take it away, Zach.
wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Zach, you said that's a Van Halen guitar, but I I think you actually dug up his grave and did some spells with his corpse there. What do you think? I appreciate that. He's one of my uh, idols. Did you desecrate his grave? No, no. Okay, just making sure. Wow, wow, wow. So tell me about what you just performed. Was that all improvised? Was that a planned set? Is that your original song? Tell me about it. It's an original song. It's called I Feel You. Um, the majority was improvised, played a little melody. Um, yeah. I feel you. Well, I feel you. I'm feeling you. Wow, wow, wow. Put your hands together. How you feeling? How'd that go? Feel on top of the world right now. Wow, wow. Zachy. Who knew Zachy? Well, we all knew Zach could shred. Did you all know? Fantastic. Well, very nice. Very, very nice. Hey, come on. Of course, Zach. Thank you. This was all, this whole thing, by the way, was just a giant uh ru basically this was your idea right this segment well i mean <laughs> this was all just all this was it we all you know how like you throw a whole party just so like you get the one girl you like to come over to your house but you don't care about the party right. that was like this for uh, this whole competition right i wouldn't put it that way i feel like this kind of transpired into a, a loving fun right right that's true just a little comedy by yours truly all right. Thank you, Zach. Thank Fantastic. You. Great work. Wow. The man can shred. What can you say? How long have you been playing guitar? Since I've been four years old. Since four? Wow. Who taught you to play at four? So I took a few lessons, had a few cool guitar teachers, but majority was self-taught. Fascinating. You, you learn like scales and all that stuff? You've studied the art? Scales and you learn the majority of the stuff being on playing shows and mm. kind of when things go wrong, that's when you have to adapt and you know, figure out how different things work. Just like life itself. Hey, people. Hey, everybody. You ever smashed a guitar? <sighs> no. Let's do it right here, right now. No, 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 oh, okay. No. All right. <laughs> no good. How much did that guitar set you back? Um, like about two. Two G's? Mm. Come on, let's smash it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Zach. Take a bow, what a guy, what a performance. The legendary Zach, the sound lad. Well, I believe we have uh, one final contestant, is that right? This handsome young devil right here. AB, coming at you. This, this is your last chance. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with AB. Finally, we have AB. The magician today with a little bit of a surprise here for us. What have you got here uh, for us today, AB? Well, I'm not as talented as Zach, but I do have something here that I want to show to everyone. The audience took a story in my past that was very cringy, and today I want to turn that around. What I have here today is- Wow! <laughs> the cursed bongo set. For those of you that may have missed the story, uh, AB told of well, why don't you give us a Reader's Digest real quick for the people that missed it. Really quick, uh, yeah, so one time when I was younger, I got really high, a girl came over, and right when she was outside, she texted me and said, listen, we're just friends, don't try anything. I'm a respectful king, I didn't try anything. So I, all I had to do at the house, because I had no cable, was play the game Donkey Kong, or Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. And uh, had a very awkward interaction. And in this game, you play, you clap. For some reason, I was really high. I clap, and I look at the girl. She was staring at me, and it was a fucking nightmare. But today... So, so, so <laughs> hold on. Let's not gloss, gloss over that too much. You would hit the drum, right? And then you would look and stare at her. Well, you, you have to clap. So I play. So you clap. I look at her, and I saw her, like, kind of stare me down. And you I, kept playing. I got nervous, and I start playing a little harder. <laughs> and, yeah. And then what did she say to you when she left? She said, you're such a little bitch. Right. And it's haunted me since. Still, still decrypting that. Uh, still living. Yeah. Those words echo in the mind. Yes. This is for the uh, foot soldiers. I know they really want. Okay. They wanted to see this. So, so um, without further ado, Donkey Kong Jungle Beats. A.B. <sighs>
You're such a little bitch. Thank you. Incredible. How are you? Excuse me? Thank you, Olivia. Uh, AB, how are you feeling? Sit on the couch with him. Oh, let's have, a, let's have a chat here, like a little debrief there. Reliving some uh, traumatic memories there. You want to talk about it? Well, I, I don't know why. Just in this moment, I just thought about what if the girl watches this episode. And I really hope she doesn't. But, um, what are you afraid of if she does see it? I, because I, like now it's became a meme and like a happy memory thanks to the foot soldiers. But if she contacts me in any way, I'm afraid uh, bad memories are gonna take over again. Interesting. So you you want to hold on to the purity of that memory? Well, I assure you, if she was gonna see it, she already she already did, right? And 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 how was it to? Re so can you tell me what is the talent that you're exhibiting here today? Uh, tenacity. And what? And how's that? Because <laughs> I keep moving forward. You keep moving forward. Keep moving forward through adversity, through sunshine and rain and cringe. So this this was a really harrowing moment in your life, and you've moved past it. You've overcome it. I've overcome it. Yes, thanks to uh, thanks to you. Thanks to everybody here. Thanks to everyone in the audience. Thank you all. Interesting. So, so overcoming is the talent exhibited here today for maybe. Can you show me? I want to. I'm actually just curious about how this game works. Yeah. So while we were just shooting that, when she was looking at, like, when Olivia was looking at me right now, who Olivia's a sweetheart, I was fine with the whole idea. But honestly, when she was looking at me, I started freaking out like I did back then. And if you'll notice, I'm sure someone could rewatch the gameplay. I immediately started fucking up in the game. So um, yeah, I just want to point it out. You want to do it? Can I pretend to be the girl? Let's kick it up a notch here, maybe. <laughs> Go ahead, let's just, let's go ahead. Let's relive it a little bit. Hold on. I, uh, love to beat this okay, so what is the clapping? They can sense your clapping? Yeah, so there's a little speaker on it. It, there's a little speaker on it. It can sense when I'm clapping. And the clap is usually to get over like an obstacle or to punch an enemy. Okay, so interesting. So we, we drum to move. Yep, and two drum to jump. Two, uh, both to jump. So like right there. And then see the enemies is with a little clap. I can see why this didn't really catch on. <laughs> yeah, um, it's very awkward for like first time a girl comes over. Uh, but besides that, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It, it reminds me when those movies. hardcore gamers may play like Dark Souls with like uh, a bowl of spaghetti or whatever crazy <laughs> stuff they dream of. Yes. Uh, All right. So play and then look over to me as I judge you. Okay. After I. Very uncomfortable when he when he stares at me, for sure. And in this moment, I wonder, what was it you were expecting of her when you when you looked over at her? What was it you were expecting? I was just in survival mode. I just wanted it to end. But why did you keep looking at her? Because I don't know. When you're high, you like like stuff triggers you to remember i don't know like sounds i don't i i wouldn't realize i would be in the game I'd be in go ahead and play it give me some more looks because it is okay so i'd be immersed and yeah. then when i clap i'm like checking on I her i haven't talked to her in like five minutes uh, okay oh shit fuck my life why hasn't she left here or why hasn't she played right did you ask if she wanted to play yes and what did she say? <laughs> she said, I don't play normal video games. Why would I want to play this? <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. Yeah, this is some wild shit. Which, if you think about it, was her being like, "Why? Like, let's move on. Let's not play this game anymore. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't have a lot of stuff at my place at the time. And I mean, I didn't. there's not a lot to do. There's no cable. There's no food in the fridge, I don't think. I think there's left. There was nothing. There's nothing. Right. Lebanese sandwiches and DK. Fantastic. Well, you really have overcome a lot, haven't you? So. Well, wow. Thank you, AB, for sharing. What a what a journey he's been through. I mean, really, wow. Rock bottom. Yep. You wanna play? I do actually. But I don't know if now's the time. Okay. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Okay, well guys, let's let's go back to the table and kind of summarize and then we will take a vote 
on who is going to be our 2021 Mr. Verified. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first ever Mr. Verified. I had a lot of fun. Thank you to our contestants. They really put themselves out there, gave it their best, except for Dan, of course, who's been trying to throw it. But uh, he also wants to win. Let's be very clear about that. Nope. Untrue. False. Inaccurate. We'll see. We'll see. Regardless, um, to cast your vote, it's going to be linked in the description below. So you'll be able to click, cast your vote there. The votes will be entirely anonymous. Nobody will have access to that. None of us. And we will reveal the winner on Friday during After Dark, where you guys will also be able to cast your votes there before we um, before we announce the winner. But boy, this is this is exciting, I have to say. And there's so much on the line, too. I mean... I can't guarantee that you're going to get verified, obviously, but I can write an email. I can do that. You know, I can do that. I can write an email. So a lot writing. Um, and uh, yeah, so tune in on for Friday for the epic conclusion to that. So it, it, is the deal uh, just one platform or like, you know? If like AB, for example, has a Twitter account, will you do his Instagram and his Twitter? Yeah, great question. Yes, I will write email to every social media partner I have. I have one for Twitter. Hey, Twitter world. This is I have one for Julie. Instagram. And I I think I even have one for TikTok, which I Yo. know may interest you most of all, AB. So Yo. I am going out there to make one of you Mr. Verify. Yes, yes. What about MySpace? What can you do for me on MySpace? I don't have connections at MySpace, unfortunately. All right. I'm back to being out. Facebook? You got a Facebook connect? Facebook has blue-balled me ever since I made all those videos (laughs) shitting on SoFlow. (laughs) Since since SoFlow? Yeah. They've been blue-balling me ever since. You know, they've been... They were defensive of SoFlow? Yeah, because I was calling them out for really shady practice like monetizing SoFlo who's literally just uploading people's videos and you know yeah. they allowed SoFlo if you guys remember that whole debacle he f- we made up this SoFlo Antonio or or yeah uh, so- 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 SoFlo bro SoFlo bro yeah and they allowed SoFlo someone at Facebook granted his his request to take all of the members out of that group augment it to his own <laughs> group and shut it down wow that's one of the craziest things I've ever seen a social media platform pull wow. out. You know why I remembered the name of that Facebook page? Why is that? Because I believe that was the first H3H3 Productions video that I ever saw. Oh, th- nice. How was it? I think that was a good video. It made me a fan. Thank you so much. Yeah, we went all out for the So Flow, bro. I remember shooting all those videos, lots of editing. Great one. Well, thank you, Dan. And, and look, it's brought us together in the end. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I was watching on my laptop in 2015 or whatever the fuck that was. Thank, thank you, you, thank Dan. you. Mm. Simp. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm all just, right. I'm just retelling history yeah. here. Yeah. You of all people, Abe. Spade a spade, huh? Simp. <laughs> S-I-M-P. Well, that's our show for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, make sure to tune in on Friday. Who's going to win it? Hopefully, Ethan won't have diarrhea anymore. That is real, by the way. Those were not jokes. Ethan... This episode took like 14 hours to shoot, even <laughs> well, though it's shorter it's, than normal because well, we've been stopping every 10 minutes for Ethan to go to the bathroom. So. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. And, and and honestly, thank you guys for sticking it out because it's 7 p.m. right now. And uh, actually, we're not even done yet. But um, thank you guys for sticking it out because, you know, I, ha- I was at this crossroad around 4 o'clock. <laughs> and, you know... <laughs> Because we were going to have to come back tomorrow, and I was thinking, like, if I'm really sick, I don't think I'm even going to be able to come in tomorrow. Yep. So thank you guys for sticking it out today. I appreciate you. You got it. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I have some footage of you suffering. Maybe we could just overlay real quick. Yeah, we sure. put a camera in the bathroom. Yeah, it's been a traumatic day, out. and combined with Ian puking several times, it's been a hell of a ride. There's a lot of bodily. How are you feeling, Ian? Are you feeling any better? I'm a... Uh, um... <laughs> I'm a shell of my former self. How do you feel, for real? I'm curious. Wilson! It's not great. Not great. You feel nauseous still? What year is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. 
Well, that man is dedicated. Well, take that into consideration when, when casting your vote. The man is dedicated. That's true. Ian, I wish you the best. I haven't shit or piss anything for the show. Ever. Ian over here puking he, his brains out. Yeah, he, he his bodily fluids are are uh, spilled regularly True. for this show. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had as much fun as we had filming it. We'll see you on Friday.